Another weekend in London, another stunning showcase for diversity being our greatest strength. Hey, but when a couple of white lads tried to join the party, which as anyone could see was a true smorgasbord of diversity and inclusivity, by displaying an England flag in England, they soon learned that some forms of diversity just won't be tolerated. I, for the moment, anything racist or even close no, to racism no, is said. Right. 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 Let me finish. Let me finish. For the moment, anything gets anything close to that, all right? People are going to start getting arrested. It's just this is the verbal warning to let you know we're all on the same. Carrying an England flag in England, borderline racist and potentially arrest worthy. This, of course, followed last weekend's arrest of a man carrying a Union Jack flag, and at the very same process protest on Saturday happening at the very same time, all manner of other spicy activity. Carrying flags that represent literal Islamic terrorist groups. While this tweet has been deleted, the claim about flags is still being shared. The flags in the lower left photo are not those of ISIS. Oh, it's not ISIS. It's just Al-Qaeda and factions of Al-Qaeda. Oh, well, that's alright then. Displaying an England flag in England, racist, potentially arrest worthy. Displaying the flag of the group that carried out 9-11 and 7-7. Well, that's just a declaration of faith in Islam. <laughs> He's just a humble Muslim, how could he be so Islamophobic to say this is a terrorist flag? The British police slash Islamic scholars apparently carrying flags that literally say, quote, I fully support Hamas, a prescribed terrorist group in the UK, a country in which it's a criminal offence to invite support for Hamas. Oh, that's alright. Displaying an England flag in England, racist and potentially arrest worthy. Literally calling for jihad led by Muslim armies with arms, meaning weapons. The only solution is jihad by the armies of the Muslim countries. Not by you, me, or we. What training do I have? There are people with arms in Egypt, in Pakistan, in Saudi Arabia, in Jordan, across the Muslim world. And right now they are boiling like we are boiling. Oh, that's all right. He wasn't necessarily calling for violence. It could have meant anything. The word jihad has a number of meanings, but we know the public will most commonly associate it with terrorism. We have specialist counter-terrorism officers here in the operations room of particular knowledge in this area. They have assessed this video filmed at the hit spot to hear protests in central London today and have not identified any offences from the specific clip. As Arabic is my first language, the word jihad, whenever it's chanted, means war. In England, you can have your home invaded and get arrested for saying someone looks like your lesbian nan call for armed violence violent jihad on the streets of London in a public speech. Well, that's all right. Maybe the day is coming when we're all thrown in prison for the crime of being English. That's why it's super important to look your best for those mugshots. That's why I'm excited about today's video sponsor, Tiege Hanley. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you already know that Tiege Hanley simplifies the whole process of taking care of your skin by providing the essentials every guy needs in their skincare system. They have a bunch of other products too, but they just dropped their retinol stick, which is going to be be a game changer. This ultra high performance anti-aging product is jam packed with top notch ingredients including retinol, hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. It's designed to smooth out those fine lines and wrinkles. Hmm. Firm up your skin and boost collagen production, all while keeping your skin hydrated. Yes, there are other retinol products on the market, but as usual, Tiege innovated by creating theirs in a stick format, which glides on effortlessly and creates an invisible barrier to lock in the much-needed benefits of this product. To celebrate the launch of the product, they're giving my viewers an extra special deal to get started. When you use my special link in the video description down below to buy a retinol stick, they're going to throw in a whole free skincare system. That's a $33 value and they're giving it to you for free. And when you claim this amazing offer, you'll become a Tiege Hanley member, which also comes with tons of perks, including 20% off the retail price, exclusive access to monthly deals, flexibility to pause or cancel at any time, and free US shipping. So if you're ready to take your skincare routine to the next level and enjoy firmer, smoother, more youthful looking skin, this retinol stick is unbeatable. Don't miss out. Click my link in the description to get started today. A protest to Climb scaffolding, an act of trespassing. And according to witnesses, he set off flares, a criminal offence, if not part of a professionally licensed event. And how did he get treated? Free Palestine! Careful there. Are you alright? Okay, bye then. Thank you.
guess he was just carrying the right flag. He's all right. England flag racist and offensive. Anything racist or even close no, to racism no, is said. The British police are clamping down on English lads waving English flags because it might offend the Muslims who are busy waving their own flags to annoy the Jews who are waving their flag to annoy the Muslims. Diversity is our strength. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Perhaps those cops dealing with the England flag lads had seen what had transpired earlier, when in the ultimate example of the unparalleled success of multiculturalism, our diverse friends reacted to seeing an England flag in England like a vampire reacts to a cross. <laughs> Activist group Queers for Palestine once again braved the event. Chickens for KFC, cows for McDonald's. Suffice to say, it didn't end well for them. <laughs> Some forms of inclusivity are just more inclusive than others. And while some called for jihad while openly committing crimes, police resources were taken up by the far more pressing issue of pronouns potentially being disrespected. I've seen my, my pronouns now. Sir, I'm not receiving pronouns. You are, you said I'm sir. You're receiving my gender. I'm gender non binary, actually. And what would you like me to refer to as? They, them. Despite all this bedlam, just 10 people were arrested during the demonstrations. Almost all of whom will probably get off with a slap on the wrist. What do you call it when it's de facto illegal to fly the flag of your own country in your own country? Yet those calling for violence and the destruction of your country and others are permitted and mollycoddled. Is this a narco tyranny or have we moved to a level way beyond that? But in case you were worrying as to whether any of this will get resolved, in anticipation of more of these protests, week after week, for potentially months or even years into the future, well don't worry because the government's gonna have a strong word with the police chief. Problem solved. But wait, haven't we imported vast numbers of people who virulently hate us? Shut up, bigot. Diversity is our strength. Free, free, Palestine! Get early access to videos, exclusive live streams, and personally DM me. You've seen how much I get demonetized all the time. Well, this is how you support me. By subscribing at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Please click the link in the description.